morning you guys good morning welcome back to dr andy adventures i don't know i'm trying to look for the best light good morning welcome back to dr andy adventures thank you so much for joining me once again you guys on my brand new adventure today i am at work it is a saturday and i am at work Guys, that's the thing about being a doctor. You will work weekends. You will work the holidays. You will just be working nights. You know, people are sick all of the time. So you're at work all of the time. <laughs> so I am at work today and I'm going on call. So I'm bringing you guys along with me on a day in the life of a doctor on call, honey. So yeah, let's go. I'm actually in a rush. I'm rushing for my water run right now. So let us go. On call diaries. Ubong is on call with me. Say hi, Wong. You just like to just be like. Hi, people. <laughs> Welcome to any. So we're on call together today. We're on call together. We have like only three patients in the ward, okay? We have a 12 bed ICS, only three patients in the ward. We want to keep it like that. We want it to be quiet. We want it to be nice. We, we just, we need that vibe. We want to keep it like that. We have no time. Today we were both like, we are not in the mood. Not in the mood. <laughs> we are not <laughs> in the mood. Not today. <laughs> we have to, we have to just keep it quiet. You know, still, can it, can it just remain? Remain like this, okay? <laughs> It should be somebody by family in another bed. That's the only explanation. GSCS has it improved? Okay, it's 14 now. She maintaining her airway. Okay, what are her sets now? So she no longer needs ICU. Okay. Cool. Alright, sure. Thanks. Thanks. Alright, bye. No longer requires ICU. Yes. That is a plus, honey. That is a plus. So, update. It is around. Okay, what's the time now? It is around two o'clock. And what has happened? We had a water round in the morning. After the water round, water round is when when we're on call. Take a look at all the patients that are in the ward and we get a hand over from the people who are on for the night so we can know what's happening with all these patients and what happened overnight and so we can continue from there that's a ward round so we had a ward round and usually the ward round we have it with one of our specialist doctors who come and give some advice on the each of the patients then so we had a ward round in the morning we only had three patients in the morning and then um after that i just like 
what happened after that? And straight, I think straight after that we had a, a consult. A consult is when uh, another doctor from another unit, either another unit department or even another hospital calls us because they want to send their patient to our ward, our unit or our ICU. So yeah, so we had a consult and uh, we actually took that patient. It is a patient who is was hit by a car and had multiple multiple injuries because of that and had to go to theater so after theater they couldn't just send him to the ward he was that sick so he had to come to us so he's here now and we are just currently trying to give him all the management he needs from an ICU point of view yep so that that is that's what's happening so we had to admit that patient i'm also i think i think it just charge summary for one of the patients um took a couple of um consults also over the phone um luckily one of the patients didn't have to come which is amazing <laughs> amazing for me uh well hot lunch um yeah, so basically it has been busy, but not that hectic. Like it's not that too hectic, but it's like it has been a little bit busy during the day. But that's what you want. You want the business to happen during the day and then later on you just want to relax. To be honest, like I just want to just close the doors because I don't want anything else now. <laughs> I'm so tired today. I don't know why I'm so tired today, but I'm just so tired. I think I didn't get enough sleep last night, so I'm a bit exhausted today. So I do not want to work too hard. I do not want to work too hard. So yeah, that's what ha well, that's what's happening. That's what we've done for the morning. And right now, I need to study because medicine is a trap, okay? And I keep on telling people this. <laughs> it's a trap. Like... The studying never ends, the studying continues, like the studying never ends, like you continuously write exams every now and again. So I'm writing exams quite soon and I definitely need to study. So, um, this, this, this is a vlog of a working, a working studying doctor while working and studying at the same time. Like it's quite difficult because during the day I was quite busy. So I needed to do my job and then now any chance that I get in between, I have to try and push. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I want to try and push, but then I feel so like I slept after midnight. Probably I slept at one or two o'clock in the morning last this morning. So I didn't sleep that well. So I'm feeling really tired and exhausted. So I don't know. I'm going to try the I'm gonna try and just yeah I'll, I'll try and study I'll, I'll, I'll try and study <laughs> I don't have a choice guys why coffee usually when i'm on call i have like two cups of coffee one in the morning one in the evenings um if it's really bad then i'll probably have another one <laughs> if it gets really really terrible terrible then i'll probably have another one maybe like three but on call usually it's like two cups of coffee and when I'm not on call, I try not to drink coffee, which is hard since now I'm studying. I drink one in the morning because I'm studying, so I kind of need that caffeine boost in the morning sometimes. So I drink one in the morning. But yeah, that's the caffeine bra with being a doctor most of the time. The caffeine thing is just so annoying. <laughs> 
we drink so much caffeine because we are always awake all the time. I woke up from a nap. I took a one hour nap. Uh, I was just feeling so, so, so exhausted and so tired. So I literally went, took a nap for an hour and everything was like chilled in the ward. And after the hour nap, I quickly went and checked on everybody in the ward. We currently have like four patients because we admitted one today. And so checked on everybody, uh, checked if everything's okay. Actually my consultant came over, consultant is our specialist, so came over just to check on everything and yeah, so everything was fine. So now I am back and at least I got the nap. I feel so much better, I don't understand. I feel so, so much better. So I am going to start studying now because I need to carry it. Yeah, that's the update. The I'm about to go into the ward and take my bloods right now. It's about my night. It's about taking the blood time. So every single night when I'm on call at midnight, I take bloods, midnight blood, and then so that day we are in the morning and we can try and just keep progress on how the patients are doing. And uh, yeah, that's basically how we do that. So. and it is about one o'clock in the morning now and i am going to rest um fingers crossed nothing happens overnight literally i just i cannot <laughs> not today so i bring a sleeping bag just because um who can trust hospital sheets honestly <laughs> especially in the on-call rooms like they be dodgy sometimes, so... It's my alarm. So the sisters usually call you if there's anything going on, okay? If there's a crisis, if there's a patient who needs you that is in the ward, or if they are calling you for some sort of reason, or if somebody has a consult, things like that I usually then they'll call us and then we'll go there and it is five o'clock in the morning and I only got called like once overnight just to take a look at somebody in the ward it wasn't anything bad or serious so that's great like this call hasn't been bad at all like People in the ward, my patients in the ward are behaving themselves, which is absolutely amazing.
guys, I'm Posco. We made it. I'm excited because it's go home time. It is go home time. It's Sunday morning. We made it. It is go home time. It is around 10 o'clock this morning, and I'm on my way home. Done with the world round. Done with this call. So I'm always happy to go home. Honestly, always, always happy to go home. So I'm. Really excited to go home. It's such a cold day today. It's so, so, so cold. So I'm just excited to go and, you know, take a nice warm, a warm bath or a warm shower, have a nice, amazing warm meal, and then just get in bed, relax. I'm excited to do that, but I can't relax for long because I am studying. So later i just want to take a nap like a little bit of a a nap sleep for a while like a couple of hours and then wake up later and do a little bit of work so yeah that's what i want to do so thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for watching you guys make sure that you like comment and subscribe and join me again on my next adventure i'll see you guys next time bye